Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share uh, OG Pod uh, wherever you are. Uh, let people let us know what you guys think and let people know that we're we're out here reporting on American gangland news every day, whether it be on Gangster Report, our companion web magazine, or here at the OG Pod on YouTube. Uh, today, we're going to do a quick hitter, and we're going to go out to the heartland, Kansas City, Missouri, and we're going to talk about uh, some elderly gentlemen getting into some fisticuffs, allegedly. Um, word is that uh, in the days or week before Christmas, Kansas City mob underboss, reputed mob underboss, Peter Simone, a.k.a. Las Vegas Pete, Got into a physical altercation at a Kansas City restaurant called Casconi's. Um, a lot of people saw this take place. I was getting calls pretty quickly uh, right after it. And there were some other maid guys, I'm told, that were at the restaurant that night, might have been involved in this altercation. Um, I'm told that the boss of the Kansas City Mafia, the longtime boss, Johnny Joe, uh, John Shortino, Shortino, um, had to chime in and that Johnny Joe had a meeting at some point in the last week and called some of these uh, people that uh, were involved in this alleged altercation and uh, admonished them for putting their hands on his underboss, Las Vegas Pete. Uh, regardless of whose fault it was, you are not allowed to touch a made guy, let alone a guy in the administration. Uh, Pete and Johnny Joe are guys that go back 50 plus years. They go back to the original Savillas and the Savilla crime family. Um, guys that are serious individuals have been uh, unindicted co-conspirators and suspects in gangland slains. Uh, guys that are well-respected, both in Kansas City outside of the mafia there, as well as in a number of other mafia hotbeds around the country. They, they wield respect and authority. Um, so who knows what the uh, fallout will be from this? Could just have been, you know, I heard that there were people drinking and some things were said that maybe shouldn't have been said and some people lost their head. Uh, but again, you know, you're talking about a 78-year-old man in Pete Simone. Las Vegas Pete, you know, it's a guy that is been a staple in Kansas City for a long time. Um, and uh, whether he was in the wrong or not, when you're a wise guy, when you're an underboss, you're not in the wrong in terms of you, you just there's certain you know there's certain etiquette and rules, protocols that just can't be broken. And it looks like Johnny Joe um, let people know that in Kansas City, and, and you know people are going to ask what. What's left of the Kansas City Mafia? You know, it's it's not anything that resembles uh, what it did when Nick Savilla was running things, uh, when that family was a uh, was a, you know was an underrated powerhouse um, outside of the five families. Right now, it's a small organization made up of a handful of OGs that control mostly you know gambling, loan sharking. Younger guys do some drugs, but not a lot of those guys are. If any of those guys are made, um, you probably have 10 made guys there, left a dozen made guys, and that might be being pretty, um, could be overshooting it. But uh, there is a structure there. Who knows what the family will look like in 10 years, if it will exist 20 years from now. But right now it exists, and uh, you got OGs that are running it. And uh, Las Vegas Pete found himself. Uh, I'm sure not unlike wise guys, gangsters around the country. It happens. We've heard we've, we've heard the stories. We've read the stories. You know, arguments happen. Squabbles happen. Oftentimes they happen in public. Um, and in, in this case, that's what happened in Kansas City at Casconi's. Um, so I just wanted to report, let you guys know that there was some holiday fireworks out in Kansas City and that Johnny Joe uh, – lay down the law in terms of how you're supposed to uh, behave as a wise guy, whether you're talking about Kansas City or New York City or Chicago, 
Philadelphia, it's, it's all pretty uniform. So um, happy holidays to everyone in Kansas City. Please uh, like, subscribe, and share. For OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein.